Thai people know what they're doing, man. Fight that one first. There we go. Bro, this is nuts. <laughs> I'm in love with Chiang Mai. I love night markets, and in Chiang Mai, Northern Thailand, they know how to put on a night market. This city's night markets offer everything from clothing and other essentials to mouth-watering, delicious food. And that's what I'm here for. Oh yes, Chiang Mai comes alive in the evening and it's a fantastic place for observing and immersing yourself in the local culture and I'm taking my taste buds with me. This is my friend Pong. He's going to be taking me to some of his favorite spots that he likes to go to and munch. Stay tuned. So where are we going for food first? What's our, our first stop? Uh, normally this area is just food. Mm. And next to the food market, the fresh food market in this area, we were going to the food. Right. Uh, after this, there's so many local food in the uh, kind of uh, the central of the local yeah. market for the local people. Right, 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 yeah. right, I see. Which is we call Gat Luong Market. After this, I will show you no lots of the local food here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm ready. This area, the local people know as the Mueang Mai Market. Okay. The Mueang Mai Market is the just like at the fresh market for the local people here, mm. especially the fruit. Never it's ever a, seen fruit like this in my life. We call it the king of the fruit. Let this me show you. This is the king of fruits, yeah? Yeah, in Southeast Asia here, which is we call durian. Durian, durian? Durian. Okay. Durian, this kind of a fruit we call uh, king of fruit in Southeast Asia here. Right. Which is uh, most of the local people came to visit Thailand, you must try this. Okay, so that's the main thing I have to try. Okay, let's try. Okay. Uh, 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 some Thai people make a joke that it tastes like you're heaven, but the smell is just opposite. Really? <laughs> so this tastes like hell? Uh, maybe, kind of, <laughs> let's try. Let me open for you, just a little bit gentle. Yeah. The smell right here is a very strong, but only the taste. Right. It's a creamy and so sweet. Okay. You are in Thailand, or if you are talking about the food, this is the highlight of the fruit market in Thailand here. Really? And you just arrive here in the right season. Right, right season for yeah. fruits, yeah? It, right now, is there, can you try this one first? Okay, so just, this, uh, this, this. Yeah. Oh, it uh, smells strong. <laughs> Let me show you, let me show you that we can eat that. If something wrong with me, yeah, don't try yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, you're trying to poison oh, me. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a strong smell. A strong smell. And very, the, very strong. Yeah, the, the taste, I'm just surprised you didn't throw out. Normally, most of the Western people, they're going to throw out. Oh, they, they, they spit it out? Yeah. No, 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 no. Do you want to try just a little bit more? I'll have a little out. bit more. Come on. So it's a strong smell, guys. Really, really strong smell. This is one of the food. It has the uh, strongest smell in in our Southeast Asian here. Really? No. no. This one is quite. It's a tropical food. You can't find in the Western part. I yeah. can say that. This one we call the. We call the egg food. The egg fruit. Yeah, inside it has the texture of the, this kind of a fruit. It's just like your the egg. Let me show you. I have to try some of this. Uh, they say that it's a. Look at here. How to open this one? So this is how you open it, yeah. Yeah, it's quite a little bit. Uh, when when you eat, we just eat this part in oh, the you inside just eat here. The yeah. Inside, yeah. yeah. Okay. Normally, if we use the spoon, it's more... It's a little bit bitter. Mm. I don't know. It's got some, like, a mango sort of... You're right. ...flavour. But it's very... How to say it? It's a very... Creamy. Creamy, creamy. You're right, you're creamy, right. Creamy, silky, one. smoothie You're texture. right. It's a very kind of... Uh, right here. Oh, Come I on. see. This one is your. You this hold one. on the bottom here. Okay. Oh, we'll now we go. And you bite it to that part. Okay. Only this part here. Nah. In Thai language, we call this thing your siem to. Siem to. Siem to. Siem to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. We call our uh, canon babin. It made from the uh, our coconut here. You try this, and this is what one of the, my favorite uh, kind of a local dessert. Really? So it's just coconut and what? Just just coconut and their uh, and coconut. It makes from the a uh, kind of a uh, sticky rice. Yeah. Sticky rice and their. Uh, uh, coconut. Yeah. This one is also sticky rice and the coconut, but it makes the uh, the color. This color, it just came from the flower. Okay. Uh, we so call a uh, butterfly play pea flower. Okay. Butterfly play. Come on. Okay. Can I have some now? Solid, solid. Yeah. It's a little bit hot. It's a little bit hot. It smell good. Yeah, it's very coconutty. Yeah. It's like crispy, toasted coconut flakes. Mmm, I love it. Good way. That's Be right better than you win, right? No, oh, yeah. <laughs> Much better than the fruit. Okay. I needed to cleanse the palate. Oh, okay, come on. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's so good. Anyway, Eli, come over here. I want to show you this one. This is it. This is where it's at, yeah? Want to try some? Yeah, let's do it. So what is this then? You talk us through what's going on here. We, we call a, a bamboo warts. Bamboo warts. Yeah. Bamboo warts. Yeah, a bamboo warts. Okay. Uh, salt, I have lamb, I have the I'll eat what I have home from here. No worries. There you go. So we are at the night market. This we have a, a the tilapia and there are a catfish. So which tilapia. Are, what, what, which one do you prefer? I want to try catfish because catfish. I have a tilapia in Ghana all the oh, time. Okay. I've got any and have. So this is the catfish, yeah. Yeah, the catfish. Okay. Oh, so these these are all meatballs. What type yeah. of, what type of meatballs are they? This one is just like a, a kind of a uh, beef. Right, pork, yeah, uh, fish, yeah, and uh, the rest of this are uh, mostly pork. Okay, want to try some? Uh, yeah, go, go on then. then. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Right here, let me show you after this. There we go. Kind of a uh, local, yeah. It's all of this. This one is a cabbage. Okay, so you've got the cabbage. Bean sprout. Bean sprout. Then this a kind of, a, we call a fermented a vegetable. Yeah, yeah, A yeah. fermented vegetable. Yeah. The texture of this one is a little bit sour. Right. Yeah. This is the original one. Right. Original one, this one is the, with the green curry with yeah. the chicken. Okay. The original one, normally the local ingredient they're gonna put some tomato to yeah. make it brave right. and some chili paste here. Yeah. And the white color you will see outside here is yeah. the rice soup noodle. Right. This is a one of the signature dishes for the Chiang Mai people. Right. Everyone who came to the Chiang Mai here, they will know the signature our dishes for the Chiang Mai people right. are khao soy. Khao soy but yeah. normally it's not only khao soy. Okay. This one is a one of the, the another signature that I would introduce for you here. What is it called, the signature? We call a rice soup noodle. So this, this chicken feet, you were talking about this chicken feet. Yeah, it's not a, like a regular chicken feet. Mm. This one is quite very special. Mm. They just cook this one more than a 24 hour mm. to make all of the, the skin and the feet it's a very soft and gentle. When you put it in your mouth, it just milk in your mouth. Okay. And you can blow all of the, uh, the bone out from after you, you just use your tongue to just suck the meat. You're right, suck all okay. of the meat, right, everything right, right, out. Right. Yeah. I'm a specialist when it comes to that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Right, so I'm gonna try. So what, what should I try first? What would you call uh, I first? recommend you the original one first. This we one call Kanong Jin Nam Nyo. This one is the original yeah. soup. Okay, Kanong Jin Nam Nyo. Nam Nyo. Okay. <laughs> I love your face. It's so refreshing. <laughs> so refreshing. You get the crunchiness of the herbs. 
right? And the softness of the rice. And then this has been well seasoned, the soup itself. You know what I'm saying? The soup has been well seasoned so, so well. And this is, I think, is it chicken blood? Oh yeah, that chicken one is a chicken blood. Mm. They're one of the very uh, kind of important ingredient every time when they make this menu. Yeah, it's chicken blood, but you don't even taste it. Uh, yeah. It's like, but it's a subtle flavor. You're right. Very subtle, very soft, but this is incredibly tasty. I'm not even joking. Mm. So fresh. That is what it is. The, and the sauce itself, yeah. thin, very thin consistency. Mm. You're That's right. Thick. And do you know, most of the ingredients that make the soup here, they add a lot of their uh, kind of uh, uh, herbal ingredient. Yeah. They put a uh, kind of, uh, there are so many like uh, uh, turmeric, uh, uh, garlic, garlic uh, ginger. ginger, everything that makes it together here. Oh, man. That's why it's not only the taste, even it's the it's, it's a good, good for your health oh. too. I love How it. Here we go. What, what about should it? I move on to now? Uh, yeah. This one? Yeah, that this one. This is chicken, right? Please, please. That one's uh, with the... Uh, this is your favorite? It's, it sounds yeah, like this yeah, is your yeah, favorite. Yeah. one of your favorites, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I just tried yesterday. Oh, really? <laughs> one of my favorite. This one, most of the Western people prefer this one because of her. Uh, the taste is not really spicy oh for them. Oh my god. The sauce is so creamy, but thin. You're if right. that makes sense, because you've yeah. got the coconut in there. You're which right. Which gives it that creamy sort of flavor in your mouth. But then, it's so, so light. And it's so fragrant. It smells beautiful in your mouth. It's just a beautiful, positive aroma. And some local people, they can add this uh, leaf mm. a little bit in your in your, in your, just take a, just a break a little leaf, put it in there. And can you try it with that leaf? With that leaf, yeah. What's yeah. this leaf called? We call it sweet basil. Sweet basil, okay, yeah. right, 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 right. Okay. Oh man, now it's giving it an extra added sort of flavor. You're right, and the smell is just going it's up going to up you, not your right. Can you buy it? Oh man, these tires. Thai people know what they're doing, man. Here you oh, go. Thank you very much. I'm <laughs> taking on. this home with me. Please. Oh my God. It's, it's honestly it's sweet, 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 and lovely, lovely flavors. Mm. The meatball. Meatball. Meatballs, yeah, let's go. There we go. Okay, so these are the meatballs. Yeah, that one is the, yeah. Okay. Meatball. Essentially, how, how is this cooked? It's just boiled? Yeah, it's just bought a steam. Steam, okay. steam. Most of the local right here, right now, they don't like a kind of a deep fry because it's too much oil. oil. Yeah. Wow. They, they prefer to steam it when you bite, when you eat. It's, it's a also, bouncy texture. It just bounces in your mouth. You right? right? Is that spicy? It's like dumplings. No, it's not spicy. Ah, okay, that's good. Mm. I mean that. And now I, like I you can eat a spicy food. I know that thing. Oh man. <laughs> you, you can I, you just impress me at the first time I give you a try that durian and you used to eat so many of them. This is incredibly tasty. Oh man. This is good. Where's my warmth? A bamboo warm. Oh yeah, yeah, there it is. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? That one. I want you to try this uh, okay, one. We're gonna try the bamboo. Please look at that. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm nervous. Normally, I'm not a a bamboo warms fan, but oh, you're not a fan. Yeah, I'm not a fan, but I just want you to try it. Okay. <laughs> just okay. a little one, yeah. Show me. Show me. When you got on your head. a little one like that. How about, oh my! Come on. Mm. I, I like it. it. Oh, Come it's got on. this crispy texture. You're right. I was expecting right. it to be more gooey. You're right. Mm. It's not bad. <laughs> I like it. Wow. It's different. It's and different. The, and another one. This one is a very special one. It's a catfish. 
It's a cash feed with a, a kind of a herbal ingredient. Right. Most of the they're gonna put the the turmeric, mm. the galanga, mm. a ginger, mm. and uh, some chili, right. salt, right. and some herbal leaf on the top right here. Right. Can you smell? Fish a big uh, big thing here. Yeah, especially the skin. I really love it. Lo okay. <laughs> wow. Come on. Every time when you try, it's a good fish. I've never had it before. It's especially the lo local ingredient in the northern part we call ap ap ba. Ap ap ba. Ap ap. It's just like you when you mix all of the the herbal ingredient yeah. mixed with the, a catfish and yeah. you steam it. Right. You you steam it. So you steam the fish. This yeah, you steam fried. the fish. Oh, so it's cooked in this? Yes. So it's actually cooked in this as yeah. well? Wow. And they are, are wrapped with the coat of a banana leaf mm. to make the smell. That smell is more, it's just like a small, more good smell, yeah. more appetizing. Mm. Is there a lot of Chinese influence? Why is there a lot of Chinese influence there? Let's say that at the past time before we became to Thailand, mm. Before, at that time, we, we were a Lana, Lana, yeah, like okay. a, we have our own king, own language. Yeah. There are lots of the people came from a different part of the world, moved to stay in this kingdom. Mm. Some areas belong to Chinese people, some areas belong to the Muslim people, right. some areas belong to the local people, people here. Wow. That's why uh, when we're talking about the word Lana, it's not only the Thai culture. Wow. It's included with the Muslim culture, some of them Chinese culture. Chinese, yes, mixed mix together here. Is yeah. it? Is it? Can you sense the multicultural yeah. uh, mixture? Let's say in in the food. You're right. The in, one that you tried before. Yeah. The one that you tried before. Normally, the northern people we eat only the sticky rice. Right. But the one we eat before, it looks like a noodle. Noodle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That one is mixed between uh, a kind of a Chinese culture. Right. A kind of a noodle. Noodle. Yeah. And the local ingredient is came from the northern no. ingredient here. Right. We just mix everything just... together. And Wasa joins us for dinner. So what's inside the spring rolls, sorry? The spring roll, there's a tofu, bean Tof sprout, cucumber, yeah. and Chinese sausage. Wow, very healthy, very yeah. fresh ingredients. Yeah, I love it. Hold, hold on, hold on. And the sauce what's on yeah, the exactly. top right here, it made from the tamarind, you know tamarind sauce? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's made from tamarind? You're right. Wow. This is so good. So if you can see it. I'm just surprised that you are very good with the chopstick. <laughs> with the chopstick. I've been practicing. Oh, I knew I was coming to Thailand, so, I was like, so I've, got to, I've got to practice. But it's, it's a lot of crunchiness. You're right. And then you've got a soft sort of texture from the outside, which I really love. This is incredibly tasty. Really, really, really delicious. Yeah, like a good appetizer and healthy. Good and healthy appetizer. That's what I'm about. I need to lose this. <laughs> <laughs> I've been enjoying life too much. Uh, <laughs> the signature of the dish shop. So this Hold is on. the signature. This is fried yeah. pork, right? Yeah. Some, some people. Pork. Talk yes. me through this. How, how has this been cooked? What has gone into this? Is it just... Normally, the local people mm. gonna go boil this part of the pork to get the oil, everything out from the pork, the skin yeah. of the pork. Yeah. And they will dry it in the sun. Oh. Dry it in the sun until it's dry, it's completely dry. Yeah. And they put it deep fry in the oil again. They just deep fry it to make it more crispy. crispy. Yeah. Right, so as you see, guys. It's, it's, it's not only crispy, but the it's, signature is also you have to try it. I have to Come try on, it. Please. I have to try it. Not talking, more try it. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. And the pork. Wow. Like, honestly, today has been. My tongue has been getting a lesson <laughs> of Thai flavors. You know what I'm saying? A lesson. I'm loving this. Honestly. 
you can hear the crunchiness in my mouth right now. It's so crunchy, but the meat, the meat itself is very tender. It's very tender. I like the way they've done it. It's really, really delicious. Me, I'm original. I'm not from the Chiang Mai here, but I live from my home to come here because Chiang Mai is the only city that it, it can give you a good education. Mm -hmm. And also, it's not only about the education here, the culture, mm. the temple, mm. even the attractive place. Yeah. You can find any yes. kind of activity in Chiang Mai here. Mm. The adventure, a zip lining, a hiking, trekking, yeah. elephant, mm. waterfall, mm. and the highest spot in Thailand. Wow. High mountain. The highest mountain. Yeah. yeah. So is it, uh, Do you know most of the tourists who came to the Chiang Mai here? Mm. The Chiang Mai people always smile when we see you, welcome you, mm. have a good uh, kind of uh, hospitality yeah. because of the main reason that during the pandemic for two years, everyone realized that you need a tourist. You're right. The only income that we can make, we have the hotel that you stay. Mm. The people are working over there. They don't have a job for almost two years. Because of you are right. Lack of the hotel, there's no people. They have to just stop hire the people at the mm. hotel here. Wow. The restaurant right there, they can't open. The people cannot sit down right here. Lose a lot of the income. Wow. Yeah. Even it's not a place for the tourists, it's a place for the local people, but the local people cannot come out. Yeah. Most of the Chiang Mai people right here, yeah. when they saw the tourists, the tourists is just like a kind of a, a special people for them. And now it's time for some desserts, Thai style or Chiang Mai style, whichever you prefer. This way is a Melon, okay, 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 okay. So what's that? They put uh, uh, ice, ice. Milk. <laughs> and then coconut milk. You're right. Wow. I use the spoon and I have to break the ice. And what is there? Is there a, a name that you give to this? What's this called? Uh, this, this one is just like a, we do in Thai. We call it or we mix everything together. Right. We mix what else? We mix a kind of. Uh, uh, the little one right here, you can see, it's just like a, a little noodle. Yeah. But it's just like a special noodle to make appetizer. Okay. It's a green, red one. It might be. It's a. Yes. Yeah, try that one first. There we go. <laughs> I'm in love <laughs> with Chiang Mai. This, this one is the signature of the restaurant in the front of local people right here. You will see all of them are just uh, Thai people who are enjoying with the appetizer they all now. They enjoy it, yeah. So yeah. they just come here and they just munch. And most of them are normally a young generation. Young of generation, the people. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I love not... something sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old to be here. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> mm. This wow. one is a... Uh, a melon. Oh, this is melon? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> It's weird because it's actual fruit. Yeah. It, it, it feels like it's sweet, but it's actual fruit. You're right, it's actual fruit. Bruh, this is nuts. <laughs> this is insane. My mind is blown, man. Mind is blown, honestly. Uh, the green, the green one, uh, the red one right here mm. is a little bit crunchy. Yeah. This one we call a uh, top team grog. Top, top team is a, a kind of pom pomegranate. You know, pomegranate mm. is a kind of a fruit. Mm. We call rum meat. Rum meat. Yeah. Rum meat. Rum is mean mix, mix together. Rum meat. Meat is mean just just frame. Everything is can be framed, we just put it together and we put the coconut milk on the top, a little syrup and the ice. Happy. This is the end of our 
no more food not, after this? Not yet, I don't think so. Thank God. Thank God, because Pong Hei yeah. has shown me what Thai cuisine, a glimpse into what's to come over the next couple of days. And I'm so excited. Thank you very much, Pong.